Hey, what's up everyone? Mike with Imperial Tropicals here on another fun Friday. So, let some people get on and make sure that the audio is working and you guys can see me. So man, how time does fly. Hey, what's up Ahmad? Uh, man, hope you're doing good Ahmad. We've been having pretty good weather. It's been a little bit hot, but it's been pretty good. So, Sydney's on, the Colorado, Michael, John, Exotic Movement, Denver Long. What's up? So, guys, it's been um, been kind of crazy. So, we've um, we're caught up with the orders. So, it's everything's been going out pretty smooth, but. Because of this coronavirus, there's a major fish shortage in the U.S. right now because there's not any imports coming in hardly. So I've been uh, to get more fish from us, and it's uh, it's it's not something that we could do just because we're so busy uh, just keeping up with our own orders. So um, hopefully, when this warehouse is up, we uh, we could take on more accounts. But it's been it's been all we could do just to keep up with what we have and, and to be able to work on the projects that we've got, but making good progress on everything and the building's coming along nicely. I'll show you some of the stuff that we've been working on. Uh, I'll show you the, the office first. Uh, I'm not seeing the video is a little grainy. So I don't know, it could be the reception. I know it's, uh, it looks like rain. Today, we're definitely gonna be getting some rain this evening. But, uh, so the office is getting really close. We've uh, got to do the flooring, just a little bit of touch up. Joe's on, what's up, Joe? Uh, Corey's asking about albino ruby reds. I do not, I do not believe that we have any, but I really have not been uh, too involved with the inventory. I would email and, and ask them, but I do know that you know, we, I think the albino ruby reds, um, I don't think we have any available. The albino uh, fish are a little bit harder uh, for us because we have to grow them indoors. So <clears throat> they don't do well growing up outdoors. So the albino fish are a little bit more difficult for us to... Uh, to keep up with just because we have to raise them all indoors so Desmond's asking about Nairi um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show off any fish today um, I just I've got so much going on today you can see we got the flooring done and in the bathroom it's been closed Zach's been working really hard on that uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show off any fish today in the greenhouses just because of time but if you want to see our Nairi, I join the Facebook group, Imperial Tropicals Fish Keepers. And there's a lot of people with Nairi in their tanks and um, everybody's always real happy to show off their fish. So you could check out the, the Nairi um, on the Facebook group. And you could do that with all our fish um, because pretty much somebody in the group probably has one of them, unless it's a new species that just came out and they they're not in people's tanks yet um, for the most part um, you can see pictures of all our fish on the group so uh, i'm going to answer some of these questions so i do know that the state of florida i don't know about all the other states um, they pretty much opened everything back up um, there's a few things i think gems i haven't heard the latest on that but um, so people are getting back to their, their normal routines, if you could call it normal, because life is going to be different for a long time um, with this with this virus being out there, because, um, you know, people aren't going to be going out to crowded places and putting themselves at risk. And people are going to be staying home more. And from the looks of it, people are going to be staying home more. And the fish keeping hobby is going to be more popular than ever because if you're indoors at your house more, then what's better than um, seeing a beautiful piece of nature in your in your room 
living room. So, um, Harvey said he'll post a pic, pic of his IT near eye after the fun Friday. So Harvey, Harvey can show you a, a pic. Lynn, thank you for reminding people to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button because that lets us know that you guys like us doing this. I mean, there's times that we, I've, I've personally thought about not doing it, but I've done it for so long now that I don't know, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, it wouldn't be the same if I skipped a Friday. Um, I've skipped before in the past when I was out of town and stuff, but usually we try to check in with you guys, let you know how we're doing and, and talk to you. Ali Sean, what's up? Gerdoza Cichlids in the house. Joe does his live feed every Friday um, on Facebook. And Joe is a super talented guy. Super talented guy. Um, I tuned in last Friday and um, it's, it's a lot of fun. So you guys check out Joe, Joe's um, uh, group every Friday. He does it. So... Um, Rip Saul says he's sitting on a pier enjoying some me time. Nice. I'll, I'm telling you that if there's one thing to be, you know, that I'm happy about with this coronavirus is that it's completely wiped our extra activities schedules clean and we could get back to doing things. I really enjoy being in nature. Um, I like fishing. Joe's been doing a lot of fishing. Um, a lot of people, every time I'm out on the lake or the water, I'm seeing a lot of people outdoors. And, and that, that's the only thing that keeps me sane. If it, if it wasn't for me to be able to go outdoors in nature, uh, I would not be a very happy person. So guys, get out there and fish and enjoy the outdoors. Um, in fact, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my plans tomorrow. Uh, trying to get that... Susan's on, Don, Gooman, Gooman Brothers, Mike, P, Brian P, what's up? Jerry Collins asking about Star Sapphires. I do not believe that we have any ready. We had a little bit of a problem breeding them <clears throat> about six months ago, and it's caused us to run out, And but we are breeding them, and I hope it'll be pretty long, or won't be too long before they're ready. <clears throat> Just so you know, guys know, especially on like the haps and the peacocks, it takes us a long time to grow them up to a big size. So like if we have any problems with breeding them, then it sets us back several months and that's what's happened with the star sapphires. So, but, um, but we're getting back blue regals. Rick, um, is asking to see the blue regals. Um, the Facebook group's going to be your best way to see them. Cause I won't be able to see them, show you today. Maybe next week, Mauricio from Monterey, Mexico. What's up? I'm going to come down there one day and see you. Uh, Ahmad saying uh, May 18th, Miami's open up. Yeah, no problem, Denver. I, uh, you know, it, it kind of gives me a break from, from my, I mean, I've been working all morning on coming up with the filtration for the building and communicating with the manufacturer that's, um, that sells the filtration equipment and, I had to do up a, um, a drawing of, of how the filtration is going to be and our plumbing and, um, it gets, um, it gets monotonous. I've got, I've had three people come out, um, in the last, you know, day to, you know, one was the concrete guy. Actually I had more than that, five. One was the concrete guy. Another one was a grader to prep, prep the foundations and then had a C guy come out. I had a, a water specialist come out to try to help us um, make this water perfect going into the fish tanks. Um, Joe says he's fishing right now too. Nice. Mobile, Alabama. Thank you for the goodies, man. Those were awesome. Um, in fact, we still still have some of it here. So thank you again. That, that means a lot. Again, I think I said it last time, but that, that helps restore my faith in humanity. <laughs> There's some good people out there. So thank you. John saying since he's been home so much, his aquariums have never been cleaner. <laughs> nice. Blitz Peacock Bass Fishing. What's up? I've seen some nice uh, posts on the group from him recently. So Adam Hudson, we're doing good, man. Doing good. Patrick Glazer saying 
Just got a shipment. All fish arrived mm -hmm. live and healthy. Nice. Guys, we're really good at what we do. I mean, sometimes there is a problem, uh, but we always try to make it right. And, you know, just, uh, you know, if there is a problem, bear with us. But we, uh, we have really good fish. Uh, Troy's asking, are you drilling the tanks? Didn't see any room behind the tanks as they look stacked back to back. They are stacked back to back, but I do have space. Um, I have the bulkhead hole drilled on the side of the tank about four inches off the bottom. Uh, so they are all side drilled. Um, I didn't have room on the, I couldn't drill them on the bottom because of the tempered glass. The non-tempered tanks were, were, were way more. So these are all tempered on the bottom. And then I didn't have room on the backs to drill. So I drilled them on the side and there will be plumbing uh, from each tank that, you know, PVC half inch pipe that goes out of the tank. So each tank is isolated. It's not a research system, it's a flow system. So as we're taking water out of the, putting water in, water's going out, it should uh, flow right out the tank. So um, Susan's saying she tried feeding her Daphne culture spirulina powder, but they crashed anyways. Your green water has advantage. Yeah, it does. Um, so Susan, when you do it, uh, mix the uh, spirulina powder with baker's yeast. All right, and you could use equal parts. So if you use, uh, I don't know, um, let's just say a teaspoon of spirulina, use a teaspoon of baker's yeast. You could buy it, we buy it at Sam's Club. It's uh, like five bucks for a couple packages of baker's yeast. And then you put that in a water bottle and mix it up. Now that water in the water bottle needs to be above 80 degrees. Um, Usually we just leave it in the greenhouse and let it warm up the water bottle. But we use, during the winter time, we'll put it in the microwave just to heat that water up a little bit. What it does is it makes that baker's yeast and the spirulina um, kind of bind together and, and then feed that to your uh, culture. And you'll see a big, you'll see a big difference. And if, if you just put straight uh, spirulina in there, it, it doesn't really, um, the culture is not able to feed on it very well. Larry's saying he's taking the kids this weekend. So this weekend, I got invited. A friend of mine saw a golden gar. Um, you'll have to Google what a golden gar looks like. But it's a, you know, natural spotted gar is what I'm thinking is the, the species. Because that's what we mostly have here locally. Uh, but he saw one that was gold. And it's pretty rare. I've, I've known of probably four or five in the state of Florida. Um, maybe there was more, but um, they're worth a lot of money. And my friend uh, through baseball contacted me and says, hey, I've seen this fish. I think I know where it stays. Would you like to go try to catch it tomorrow? So Saturday morning, we're going to get up early and we're going to go try to catch this golden guard. So if we catch it, I'll have to show you guys what it looks like because and I thought about, you know, he's like, yeah, we could sell it and, and, and split the, um, split the money. But I told him that I like to keep it for breeding and I would still pay him half of what the guard was worth. Um, but I think it'd be pretty cool just to have one and try to breed it. Cause I have some other gar in a pond that I might be able to try to breed it with. So Chevy fish. Chevy fish, D Dana saying the rainbows I got a couple weeks were absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I love the rainbows. Rainbows are they're one of my favorites. Um, they're just um, so colorful and they don't they don't constantly fight to the death, you know. Griffin Fish Room, hello. Glenn Norton from Jersey Shore, nice. My favorite state. <laughs> Lori. Uh, let's try to get uh, Porter. Got to get back to work. Have a good day. Thanks for joining us. And guys, if you're new, make sure you you know comment. Let us know where you're from. What kind of fish you keep. Um, you know, it's a community effort. Um, everybody kind of gets to know everybody, especially if you're in the Facebook group. Um, it's a great great community. Lots of knowledge um, getting passed on, so people are more successful. 
Yeah, Ahmad's saying I have space to house the guard. I do. Yeah. Um, yep. So they're beautiful fish. So I actually saw some disturbing photos on uh, the internet of people shooting them. Uh, one guy had shot one with a bow, an arrow, uh, for a fishing rig setup. That's like, why would you? Why would you go shooting a gar? Period. Unless you're going to eat it, but. Um, why would you shoot a gold one? You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. Sal Trotter's asking about three inch yellow labs. I don't know if we have any three inch, but you can email us and, um, and ask them and they should, they should let you know. I do know that we do regularly have the bigger yellow labs. So, um, but you can email them if you don't see them on the website. Um, Victor's asking about black sand for Mabunas. How do you feel about that? And black background. I really like, the black sand with the black background, it really helps the colors pop. Um, so um, I know I, I painted these tanks blue, uh, but that's only because of, um, blue is, um, you know, a little bit more visual, you know, with the fish um, to where like sometimes a dark background um, hides the fish. But with Mabunas, since they're so colorful, I think on a black background, they're going to look really nice. So, um, so I do. I like the black. Uh, Chevy Fish is asking about rice fish. You know, I had some um, in the past. Um, I think when the new building is up, I have a friend in Indonesia that breeds a lot of different strains of rice fish. And I, I think we'll get some more in. But right now, I don't have them. But I have kept them before, and I do like them. Oh, nice. Susan's got a uh, uh, melatonia. It's good census fry finally. Nice. Well, that uh, culture that you have will really help your um, your fry. Um, now, uh, Daphnia is going to be smaller. At least our Daphnia is when it first hatches. It's pretty small. It's good for fry. The Moena that we have is a little bit bigger. Uh, baby Brian is really the ideal starter food uh, for rainbow fry. Um, and then also, I know a couple breeders that take flake food and they, they, they crumble it up real fine and they use flake food as a fry food. And you can also buy really fine fry food. We actually um, sell some of it that is really, really fine that, that rainbow babies could take off. You know, most rainbow babies, especially Melantinia species, could eat, you know, right out the gate. Nick 77 from Northwest PA. Nice try to think Northwest PA. That must be up towards um, above Pittsburgh, I would think. Close to Pittsburgh. We got a lot of good fish keepers in Pittsburgh, too. A lot of good fish keepers in PA, period. Uh, Sharon Miller's asking about the honeycomb catfish. They're smaller catfish. Yeah, I'm familiar with them. Very nice uh, bushy nose, bristle nose type. Um, I do not have them, but I do like them a lot, and I hope to have some one day, because uh, once this building is up and running, we're going to have a lot more space um, to be able to breed uh, more types of, um, especially wild type, you know, plecos, like bushy nose, hypensistrius, picoltias type, stuff like that, so I hope to, to really, you know, expand our variety. Yeah, Susan's saying the baby Brian's booming here, yeah. So, um, so yeah, I mean, um, I showed you guys outside. I'll take a, take a ride around. We've um, been working on the outside of the building, um, trying to get the, the area ready for concrete. So I'll show you guys that. Let me go grab my drink real quick. All right. And then we'll go, uh, we'll go walk out there and get on the golf court. I'll ride you guys around. But sorry guys, I'm not going to show any fish today just because uh, I'm going to be limited on my time. And that's why I got to get this, I got to get this up. So when you guys say, hey, can you show me the Nyeria? I'll have a, a big, beautiful tank of Nyeria right there in a glass tank that I can show you guys, you know, what they look like. Same thing with all the fish is that it's just a lot easier for me to show them off when they're not in the greenhouses. Greenhouses are, are really difficult for me, especially on camera, to show you guys um, what they look like. So let's go take a look. So we were 
having a little bit of a flooding issue every time it rained coming off the building. So we ended up um, putting in some drainage pipes, six inch drainage pipes that look up to the gutters. It's a little bit undersized, but you can see um, we got it covered with dirt, but it runs all the way along the side of the building and then it dumps out into uh, one of our ponds. <coughs> They very well in a heavy rain might not be able to keep up with the water coming out the building but you know the worst case scenario if it does fill up it's just going to overflow right out the top of that six inch pipe so um, I'm hoping it rains today so I can see how it works and if it works good uh, we're going to um, do the same thing on the back of the building but <clears throat> because of all the water coming off we were having um, a lot of flooding issues just around the building so this will help us shed some of that water um, it's been we had rain about a week ago but it's it wasn't much and we're hoping for more rain today because it's been really dry and hot and you know we're hoping that it it picks up I'll show you a pond that they cleaned out one that we cleaned out yesterday so you guys get to see you get to see what it looks like empty so this pond will be filled back up um, and then some new fish put back on it Because with the sun, it's hard to see the, the screen. But here's the pond that Zach and Elijah cleaned out this morning, or just now, getting ready to muck it. You can see the big net on the side. That's what we used to catch the fish with. like button I like it uh, yeah Daniel saying he's gonna have up to two inches of rain this weekend nice so P L S R D A B K says he keeps wolf cichlids jaguars red devils Jack Dempsey's Cubans red tail cats so he likes the big the big um, American cichlids nice you know they got a lot of personality in fact I like the personality more on centrals and south than I do Malawi fish. Tanganyikans have a lot of personality, but um, I really like um, you know the personality for those fish that you got. They can be mean, but that's just part of it. Harvey's asking when we can come visit. So right now we're still not having um, appointments. Uh, it really, we're just watching really close what happens with the uh, coronavirus. Because everything is so confined here, um, it's hard to bring people over and not be in like tight areas around the uh, buildings. So, so um, but if if things you know get you know where it seems you know to be safer, then for sure we're going to be um, opening back up to appointments. 
but right now we're going to keep it um, you know the way we've had it uh, so but we'll see what it looks like in about a week or so uh, if it's uh, looking all good then we'll, uh, we'll open it back up so, some of the rainbow fish Jerry Collins saying he wish, wish he lived closer. Jerry, plan a trip to Florida and come see us, man. Uh, especially once we start opening it back up to um, appointments. Um, we love having people come by and visit. So, Cat's on. What's up, Cat? Hopefully you're back in the pool making business, Cat. I know it probably uh, changed things for you. But hopefully you're getting, getting back to work, so. William B. made it. Hey, showed up late, but that's good. Um, these guys are looking really nice. Way more active. This is the Manacara Anomalous. Looking real good. So, so guys, I'm gonna wrap it up, but I appreciate you uh, joining us today. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you've given us and allowed us to do this for a living. Uh, really, really uh, thank you for that and I, I have a great outlook for the future because I think we've got really good things going for the fish hobby and I think there's going to be a lot of exciting things in the future for us and the fish hobby so I'm glad to be able to make a, a contribution to the hobby and provide people with not only high quality fish but good knowledge and good information to make you guys be even more successful um, at fish keeping. So. Uh, enjoy your Friday. Have a safe weekend. <clears throat> Wish me luck for catching that golden gar. And hopefully next Friday, um, I can show you guys what it looks like. So, thank you. Have a good weekend.